Hey guys, this is Durgesh Sahani uh, making tutorial for Ajax with PHP and MySQL. This is the first tutorial. Here we will see introduction of Ajax, uh, how to use Ajax in PHP file. For that we have to download first uh, jQuery file. I will show you how to download that one. So what is Ajax exactly? Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML, uh, which means it will load data from another file without page refresh and uh, we can send data to uh, any other file uh, without page refresh so we'll see that and uh, in this file in this uh, video tutorial we are going to see a small in, uh, introduction of uh, ajax and one example as well uh, which will load the data from another file so let's start uh, first of all we have to download the jQuery file as I say so I'm going here and just click on the this link download jQuery and from here you will find uh, jQuery has several versions like 1.x and 2.x so I will suggest to just go here and download this one this is a stable version so I'm going to download uh, see sorry this one uh, here you will see uh, compressed and uncompressed so this means if you are deploying your website on the net, on that time use the production version uh, which is compressed file uh, which perform well and uh, you will see the difference in the file size as well and here uh, if you are if you are working on uh, your development environment just use this thing so I will download this file so uh, I am going to just say save this file uh, save link as and where you want to download it just go ahead so i have already downloaded it in my folder so i'm not going to download it okay so just after downloading you are ready to go so just come to the inside and uh, see first what we have to do we have to set the reference of that file so here already what i have already done actually uh, see here i have set the reference of that file uh, I will show you first see uh, I am running XAM to my system and uh, which is the web server Apache web server is, is running so here I have already started my Apache web server uh, whatever you are uh, running VAM, LAM or according to that just uh, go to your web server and uh, uh, host your file on the server so in my case I am XAM, I am in the XAM so here stdocs is a server, server folder and uh, I have created one folder php, mysql and ajax and under that I have one folder js and in that js we have downloaded the jQuery file and here if you see I have one, uh, one file uh, index.php and which is, which is here so I have set the path jQuery uh, slash jQuery dash 1.11.3.js so this is our file we have set the reference and for debugging purpose I have used alert1 so if everything is ok and I am considering that uh, you already know about little bit about jQuery so here what we are doing we are saying that hey uh, wait till the document is ready after the document get ready just uh, execute whatever I am writing here so I am just de for debugging purpose I am uh, writing this alert message message so if you go here and if you refresh this so we'll get one message uh, so everything is look good to us so we'll go there uh, further see so i will show you the syntax of ajax first uh, for ajax we have to use dollar symbol and then dot and there is a method called ajax and in that ajax method uh, we have to pass several parameters like uh, from where you want to get the data so for that we have to use url and colon and whatever the url is you have to pass, pass it here so suppose we are going to uh, get the date from the another page so i'm saying like date.php which is not created we'll create that one then the second parameter we have to pass is uh, data are you passing any data if you are passing so in our case uh, no need to pass any data but still we can set it uh, null then third parameter is data type 
so here we can specify data type which type of if you are sending in in type of data or uh, receiving in type of data we can specify here so for now we can set it uh, text which is default then the another parameter is success uh, success which means if uh, the request what what we have generated if get executed successfully on that time we want to perform some operations so for that we can call uh, one anonymous function here and uh, we know that it will return a date so i'm going to store it some in some variable str date and uh, what we will do we will create one div tag here and we'll show there uh, we'll show that uh, date here so i will give you an id here uh, show date and here we will show that uh, that whatever come from that file so what i'm going to do is, is here uh, dollar and then get that id show date and add the, this text whatever we are getting from here now we are done so see it's very simple just you have to pass some parameters now i'll go i'll go further and create a new file uh, php file actually and here what we will do php and i will save it with the name date.php and see here what we will do we will return the date so i am writing here the format i want d then m then y so it will return a uh, date in this format dd yy dd mm and yy like this so it will return in this format date for, for us so this is done almost done we'll check now see let me explain here once again so first parameter we have to pass is url here we are specifying that uh, from which file we want to get the data and for second parameter data what data we want to send to that file particular file this file but in this case we are not going to send it we'll see in the next video where we will when we are trying to insert something uh, into the data database on that time we will send some information from this field then data type uh, here we can specify which type of data we want to send or re receive like json or text or any uh, other so and then the next one is success if it will if our request gets successfully executed on that time it will execute this function this anonymous function so let's uh, see the example uh, result what we are getting if, if everything is uh, correct then we will get the result see so here uh, what i will do i will i'm going here and uh, i will refresh but before that uh, let me open the this file from here uh, date.php and i will show you see we are getting the date 24 10 2015 so same thing we will get here and it will show for us so just refresh i'm going to refresh it see we get it. and uh, if you see here so i have created one div tag and uh, the id is show date and what i'm doing so first what it will it is how it is executing it will go to the date.php file then whatever here we are returning it will get that and uh, it will get stored here if when it gets successfully executed and after that we are assigning this variable to uh, show date and which is here so it will uh, it is returning it here so it's very simple example and in the next uh, video we will see how to insert data into the database so this is the second uh, in second video so if you like my video please subscribe and thank you